Hello folks, welcome to Outdoors with Bud. I'm your host, Bud Fields. This segment, I wanna to talk to you a little bit about some tools that uh, I met with some guys at, at a deer hunting expo and they, they make these hand tools and they also make sprayers and everything like that that they sell. Uh, it's a good company, they're out of Illinois. It's called Easy Cut Products. And a lot of the tools that they make are like uh, hand saws, folding hand saws, uh, pruners and loppers. And the thing about it is they make a lopper that I'm gonna show you here shortly and, and a pruner that's a ratchet. And, and what's the big deal about that? As you get older and get arthritis in your hands, squeezing uh, loppers and pruners and stuff like that gets to be a problem. Well, these are all on a ratchet system and whoever come up with the idea of making a ratchet tool was a genius. Trust me, one of these days, if you live long enough, you're going to have some injuries and stuff to where common everyday functions is going to be difficult to do. Now, we use a lot of our stuff like, well, just like today, for instance, we had probably, what, 30, 35 mile an hour winds. We've got limbs and branches all over the yard. Well, you can't carry a chainsaw with you everywhere you go. And a lot of these tools here are used for lawn work or they're used for gardening. And I also use them in the deer woods. Uh, the first thing I'm going to show you is what they call the G2 Lopper. Now this is made by Easy Cut. They're, they're in uh, Illinois and I'm gonna give you all the contact information, but I wanna show you these. Now the first thing, they keep these together. They got a little buckle system here, but th this is a G2 Lopper and I hope you, you can see this mechanism in here. It's got slots in it. And it, when you open the jaws up, and you put it on a limb or something, you just put it down. Did you hear that click? I think, I think they might have heard that. Well, that's when you stop. You raise it back up, and, and, and it goes to the next one. And, and, and all you got to do is just keep doing that, and just keep popping that in there, just like a ratchet uh, on the toolbox, and you're going to get through some pretty good-sized diameter things. Now, these are about five years old. All these tools are five years old, and they still perform like they're brand new. It's a very sharp blade in through here, and it's got teeth that locks onto the bark of the, of the tree limb or the branch that you're cutting. And every now and then, you do want to put some WD-40 or some kind of a lubricant on any moving parts. Now, another thing I like about this, these handles has got two little buttons here in the side. These handles, you can extend them out higher. And if you're out in the woods and you're trying to do some clearing for shooting lanes, maybe you don't want to climb up in a tree or on a ladder very high, you can really reach up there quite some distance, and uh, it's well worth the money. Now, they've got a real good warranty, and uh, like I say, I talked to the guys in, in the booth at the Deer Hunting Expo in Indianapolis, and I looked at a lot of their products, and I really like them, and, and I really highly recommend them to you for just doing your own yard work or doing some work in the woods. Now, another thing is like this. This is the easy cut. This was, this was called the uh, kamikaze saw. Now this is not a folding saw, but it comes with this little plastic sheath. You can wear it on your belt. It's got a little belt loop back here, and it just goes down on the inside of it. But this blade is thicker than a lot of products on the market. And the teeth are designed where it's designed to cut on the push forward and the pull back. And you can go through some pretty good sized tree limbs just by using this. Now it does have a little bit of flexibility to it, but like I say, I've used this for five years and, and the blade's still perfectly straight. But it, it weighs hardly anything and, you, and I always just either put this in my backpack or I'll, I'll put it on my belt loop when I wear it in the woods. Now another saw they make is the easy cut. This is called the WOW saw, W-O-W, -W, WOW saw. It's got the same basic blade that the kamikaze saw has extremely extremely sharp teeth on it and once again those teeth are made at an angle to where when you push forward it cuts and when you pull back it cuts and you can create a lot of sawdust with it just by doing that uh, plastic handle this thing here has got some rust on it from where i was wearing it during the hunting uh eventually when it was snow or uh, raining out but I bet you could probably get, I'd say, I'll say 10 years out of that blade right there because I promise you, but I wouldn't do it, but I could probably get this uh, saw and saw right through my wife's table here, but I don't think that would sit very well with her. 
Now, here's another thing. This, this is fantastic. This is a little ratchet, uh, ratchet pruner. Now, I've got a, a little branch that I picked up out of the yard, and I, I ain't going to run out of fodder. I promise you that with the wind today. But this this got the same ratcheting system right here in the side. It's got like three cogs on that. And when you, when you put it on, you just squeeze it. And when, it, when you hear that click, you raise it up, and it will reposition itself to the next one. And uh, just like that branch, you're probably going to have a bunch of these in your yard with any kind of wind. But this is very simple. You just put that on there and just pop it right like there. Two times I pumped that up and down and, and took it off there. Once again, it's got a very, very, very sharp blade. And, it, and the only thing I would recommend on this is whenever you get done with it, take a toothpick. And there's, there's a groove inside of here. When you pull that down, that blade goes into if it gets a lot of sawdust or bark inside of there, it won't close all the way. But they made it where you can squeeze it down, you can raise this little plastic holder up, and that way you can carry it in a pouch or in your pocket. Very lightweight, and a lot of guys said, what's the deal with the pink? I had one of these that was camouflaged, and being a deer hunter, I'm a camouflage addict. But you can lay these down in the woods and they have a tendency to disappear. So I contacted the guys over at Easy Cut there in Illinois, and I told them, I said, I need to order another one. And they sent me one. They sent me the pink one. Well, my wife used this, and I ended up having to order another one to get this one back because she fell in love with this doing her yard work and everything. But I asked them, I said, why did you get me a pink one? I said, you could have sent me the green one, you could have sent me a black one, the camouflage one, and you send me a pink one. If you deer hunt at all, you know you don't get pink in deer camp. If you do, you're going to sleep out in the truck. The guys don't want you anyways around them. The guy said, didn't you say you lost your camouflage pair? I said, I did. I wasn't denying it. He said, anywhere you lay this in the woods, you can find it. And by golly, they're right. They had a good thing going. Now, the name of the company, if you want some contact information, it's called EZ, like the E with the Z, Easy Cut Products. Their address is 744 Telser Road, Lake Zurich. That's Lake Zurich, Z-U-R-I-C-H, Illinois 60047. You can reach them by telephone, area code 847-540-8150. Or you can uh, email them at customerservice at easycut.com. I guarantee you, you might be able to buy a little cheaper products, but they're not going to last as long. I've had some of them in the past. I was lucky to get one year out of them. I'm going to say I can easily get another five years. And if I'm still alive and Pat still got me on the, the podcast, I bet I can come back and show these to you and I can still use them. So thanks a lot, folks. And uh, get hold of Easy Cut and tell them Bud Field sent you. Thank you. Mm -hmm.